Open Ubuntu Preview. 1. Snap window to top right. Open text editor. 1. Snap window to bottom right. Open calculator. Snap window to the left. Snap window to the right. Snap window to the left. Go to terminal. Snap window to the right. Go to notepad. 2. Baka baka roboto. Let's crush this. So this blog post suggests that future Ubuntu editions might use a tiling extension. And most specifically, this tiling extension. Ubuntu Master Plan includes the delivery of major downstream patches. Some you can't immediately notice, like the triple buffering merge in GNOME 43. Others are visual additions, like the shell extensions, and in particular Ubuntu comes with three of those. First we have the icons on desktop that GNOME doesn't want to support by design. Then we have the tray icons that we don't have actual specifications for them and nobody really knows how they work. So GNOME can't support this, although there are some discussions on that. And finally we have the Ubuntu dock extension that adds some logical capabilities to the dash. On that matter, not even God knows what GNOME is doing with their always hidden to overview dash. But unlikely with these three, an improved tiling is something that GNOME wants to put upstream for years now. And yet, we are 2023 and we still have nothing. <laughs> If you're wondering why GNOME doesn't simply upstream some tiling extension, the reason is that tiling and many other stuff that perhaps look easy to do, they actually require to touch the C part of mother. At least for doing them properly. So I don't think GNOME Shell is actually a good project for someone to contribute in right now. In fact, I don't think any GNOME C project is a good project for someone to spend their time. And definitely GNOME is bleeding out contributors badly. Of course everyone is aware of the problem, and everyone is thinking of the next natural step, which is the move of GNOME C stack to Rust. Not like rewriting everything in Rust at once, but trying to rustify the new bits of code. Besides, that's what the GTK Insider says. And it's going to happen everywhere, including shell source code. I only hope to happen soon, and the rest known to thrive like the GTK4 Rust apps community. However, there is something I'm very worried about. You see, Microsoft and everyone else puts AI to all things when GNOME struggles to even do tiling. And perhaps large languages models transformers are actually open source, and there are also huge open dataset to train them, so you potentially could bring those to Linux desktops. But such systems require tens of millions a year to maintain them, and GNOME doesn't exactly have them. Hey you! I'm not dreaming of some futuristic reality. It's happening today already. Builder will be meaningless without Copilot to autocomplete. Web will be useless without a bot to further explain you the content. Calculator should solve problems put in the natural language and not just mathematical expressions. And eventually, a non-AI desktop will be very discomfortable to use. My advice? If you have troubles, just screw gravity and fly away. <laughs>